In the right light, it almost looks beautiful. There were seven control towers of this design built for the last war. This is the only survivor, and earlier this year it was given Grade II listed status. When the Americans pulled out of Greenham in the early 1990s, the control tower was mothballed. The runway was broken up and turned back into open common land. The tower now belongs to West Berkshire Council, who want to put it on the market. The local parish council are taking advantage of new legislation which gives them an exclusive six-month window in which to make their own bid. They want to create a community facility. Oh, there's no question. To have it as a, an interpretation centre, a visitor centre, uh, the lovely control tower bit at the top here would be a, a restaurant and a viewing gallery. Uh, but training rooms for children to come up here, understand the common, understand the flora and fauna and the history of this area. The structure is basically sound, but no one's underestimating the scale or the cost of the project. Up to half a million to get it off the ground and, and do the initial works. A total of two million to get everything running and uh, ongoing maintenance secured. Um, clearly that's beyond the capabilities of, of a parish council, so we'd be looking for outside funding. One hope is the Heritage Lottery Fund. Roger Finn for BBC South Today at Greenham Common.